when I read the script, I said, wow, this is a story about friendship that doesn't involve men. You know, it's about two uh, female friendship where like romantic interests don't even come into the picture. And I thought that was really refreshing because usually, unfortunately, if there is a female driven story, like men come into it, you know, uh, one way or another. And uh, I was like, wow, we might be able to make a big commercial comedy where it's just simply about two friends, their business, and it doesn't involve their relationship to men. As a director, you cast two people and you throw your best hunch. Will they have chemistry? And, uh, but at the end of the day, it's luck, <laughs> you know? Like, uh, and we lucked out, you know, Rose and Tiffany really love each other and compliment each other. Uh, and they just had this clear chemistry on screen and off screen that just was a delight, you know, uh, to play with. So you know that very quickly in the first two days of a shoot, like, you know, whether you, your hunch was right or not. And fortunately, uh, we were very right this time. There is a sense of, uh, in the movie about creating your own family. Between Tiffany and Rose, they live together, their own family. The little company they form with Billy Porter and Jennifer Coolidge is their own family. And I think the idea of connecting with friends even more deeply than you would expect is something that might resonate right now when kids are so alienated with all the social media and not, you know, being on their phones the whole time. I hope that there's something about the movie that feels refreshing to men and women that way. My hope is that when people see Like a Boss, they feel like it's hilarious, but it's also a, a, just a little more authentic and lovely than your typical studio movie. That it just has a layer where they can recognize a friendship. Uh, I hope that when they come out of the movie, they think about their best friend. That's the best way to put it.